Well, hello, hello, hello. It's Vegas Paulie C. And I heard that the dinosaur's over on Twitter talking about me. So I just wanted to memorialize our relationship, admit to some things that I did wrong and some things that went bad. Some of them were my fault. Most of them were her fault. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I had a company called The Comp Wallet. I wanted to promote it. It was going nowhere. And she had 199,000 followers at the time. And I saw her on TikTok. And I said, this woman is talented. She's a talented videographer. And she has a good following. So, uh, you know, I'd love to meet her. So I paid her $45 to meet her uh, by signing up for her concierge service, which was my way of getting her attention. Because I'd rather pay $45 and meet somebody than just, you know, email and not get responses, whatever it is. So I went over to Suns Out, Bonds Out, and I met her in the morning, and she was intelligent. So we decided to have dinner that night. When she came to dinner, she came with her friend Bryce, who worked at Super Frico, and was a social media guy for the Spiegel Group, I think they're called. And he was intelligent, and they knew about social media, the two of them. And I didn't know anything about social media at the time. Not that I'm saying I do now. I still don't know how to edit. I still don't know how to do anything. But they both, you know, they both had it. They had it going on. So they wanted $2,000 each. That was kind of the fee that they came up with. I remember Bryce said 1800 to twenty three, whatever. So we settled on $2,000 each. I gave them the $2,000 each. And she started to do her job, and she did a good job. You know, she was conscientious. She created a lot of downloads for me. She was great. Bryce ran off with the money. He never did anything. And he stole the login, her friend Bryce. Not her fault, but you know, you recommended the guy to me and the guy, the guy ran off. So about a month went by and she found out that Bryce ran off with the money and she obviously got upset and she contacted Bryce and Bryce would not answer her back. Finally, Bryce answered her back and she threatened him somehow. I don't remember how. And we got the login. We never got the $2,000 back. So that money just effervesced into the universe the way money does in Vegas. And she said, and I said to her, well, now what do you want to do? Because now she would have to handle the TikTok. And she said, I want 4,000. Was I thrilled about that? I mean, you know, I gave it to her. The, the, the part that she was wrong about is like, give me half a month free or give me, give me a $2,000 credit. Your friend ran off with the money. Have a little something to give. And the reason I say that is because it was me in the exact same situation. I would give the $2,000 back uh, or I would at least work for it, but no, nothing. So she continued along. She did a good job. She told me that she was going to walk for me. She never did. She said she was going to walk for me four or five times a week. I remember her saying it. I think she walked once for like 10 minutes. Uh, But when she did her walks for herself, she did mention me, but she never walked on the comp wallet app, which is my TikTok now that has 200 and 90,000 followers, whatever. She never did that. So I was a little annoyed. Uh, and we had a slot stream. And she had told me that if I win money in the slot stream, I'll give it, don't worry, I'll give it back to you. <sighs> well, lo and behold, she won $1,100 one night. She never mentioned it. She never gave me back the 11. I let it slide. She took that $1,100 and put it in her big pocket. And I let it slide. Now, I'm not going to call that thievery. I'm going to call that an indication of who she is. And the reason that I let it slide is because I'd rather find out who you are for $1,100 than not know who you are. So now I kind of know who she is. Another week or two goes by. She asked me for money for her kid's school. I'm like, but lady, I'm paying you $4,000 a month. I gave it to her. I gave her money for her kid's school. The relationship goes on and on and on. It, months go by. She gets me a lot of downloads. She's doing an okay job at this point. I felt like she was not that great. So I went out and walked. So February 1st, 2022, that's when a lot of you guys might have first seen me or that month. And I went out and I walked and I found out I kind of had a talent for it. You know, I'd read the screen. I'd engage the people. I really enjoyed it. I, lo- I love doing it. So once I realized I love doing it, I, that's all I wanted to do was do that. So I'm out there walking and talking. She's still working for me. I'm still giving her $4,000 a month. The Mohegan Sun contacts her. They're in Connecticut. And she says to me, Paul, I'm not going up to Connecticut. You go up to Connecticut and you talk to them. I run up there. I talk to them. And here's where I'm wrong. I tell them, look, Jen will come up here. I make up this number. I say, you're going to have to give her $10,000. They say, okay. 
I say, you're going to have to give her a contest, you know, a giveaway for her people, for her peeps. They say, okay. They give me a stay at, at the hotel plus two tickets to Pitbull. And this is where I'm wrong. I never told them about the comp wallet. And the reason I never told them about the comp wallet is not because I felt I was being duplicitous at the time. I was embarrassed because it had terrible reviews and I was just so happy that they were going to use Jen and I was going to be up there with Jen and I was going to bathe in her warm spotlight, which turns out it's just a, uh, you know, a cold mist. But at the time I'm like, you know, all high on my own supply and she agrees to go up there, but she doesn't want to be part of a meet and greet. So I have a meet and greet that I put on the comp wallet and my casino host, cause I'm a huge loser at Mohegan Sun. I don't think I've ever lost more money in the casino at the rate that my, my loser rate there is probably $5,000 an hour. To this day, I cannot figure it out. I've gotten destroyed at Mohegan Sun. So of course my casino host says, sure, Paul, you want to have a meet and greet for your people? That's no problem. He gives me a nice room there. 500 people indicate they're going to come. She suddenly decides she wants to be part of it. No problem. She's got 400,000 followers at this point. Come on down, girlfriend. So she agrees to be part of it. It's June... 13th, and the Mohegan Sun finds out about the comp wallet. I don't know how, but whatever. I don't, I'm not really fearing it. They blew uh, their stack. And I understand why now. At the time, I didn't understand, but now I understand. Because, you know, it was a contest that they gave her. I put it on the comp wallet. It was collecting players' names, what, you know, information, whatever it was. And I understand now why uh, certainly someone in social media would fear their bosses. Whatever. Okay, so I was wrong. I was totally wrong. And they went to Jen with it. And Jen said, I don't know what the comp wallet is. Girlfriend, you work for the comp wallet. You've been, you've been getting $4,000 a month for eight months. And you don't work for the comp wallet. She immediately covered all her bases. She immediately threw me under the bus. She immediately told them that I don't believe in contests. I have the email here if anybody ever wants to see it. I don't believe in contests because they bring in the average Joe from Wisconsin. That is a direct quote. I have an email. That shows her saying that. It's not slander. I'm not making it up. She said average Joe from Wisconsin. So we have words that night and she does her thing. I'm scared of you. I'm terrorized by you. you. Why are you terrorizing me? I'm like, I'm not terrorizing you, girlfriend. You threw me under the bus. So our relationship goes totally down the toilet at that point. Maybe, and, and she tells me, I'm not going up there. Don't worry about it. I'm not going, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go up there and deal with them. You know, she's all, she's all like, you know, she's upset too. So wouldn't you know it, like two or three months later, she runs up to Mohegan Sun and gets the $10,000 and doesn't give me half of it like she was supposed to. She puts the whole 10 grand in her pocket. Even though I went up there, even though I negotiated it, even though I talked to the people. So basically she told the Mohegan Sun that she does not work for me, that she does not believe in giveaways. Meanwhile, she was doing giveaways for me for eight months and I had wasted, I want to say $450,000 on the comp wallet. I mean, it basically broke me financially. I had put all my faith and hope, hopes and dreams in her. And she threw me under the bus. And to add insult to injury, two or three months later, and you all know because it's on her page, it's documented, she ran up to the Mohegan Sun and grabbed that $10,000. So this is what I'm talking about with her. This is not slander. These are facts. You can see the email chain between me, her, and Brian Gillum the incredibly untalented social media guy. Go look at the TikTok. Go look at the TikTok of the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut and tell me it's not the worst TikTok you've ever seen in your life. And they're in Las Vegas right now losing their tuchus over there at the Virgin. Uh, and you can see that from the financials. It's the, it's the most unsuccessful uh, casino in Las Vegas. $42,000 a day with 1,500 rooms. Are you kidding me? But I digress. But now she's over on TikTok and somebody said that she's talking about conceal and carry, like she might have to get a weapon to protect herself. This is the drama. This is the way she feeds the drama and gets under my skin and drives me crazy. I've never handled a gun in my entire life. I don't know the first thing about guns. What does she think? I'm going to chase her down? Does she think I'm going to engage her physically? I don't engage people physically. I have no interest in that. It's a low dopamine event. It's why I don't like UFC fighting. I don't want to see blood. I don't want to see gore. I don't want to put my worst enemy in the hospital because it's a mess. It's a mess legally. It's a mess physically. It's a mess for them. It's a mess for me. I don't want messes like that. But, I'm, but my mouth can go all day long. 
And this is who this woman is. This is what she's done. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned it because my memory is a little fuzzy. But in January, she did slot stream from, I think I mentioned it. And she took the $1,100 that she won. I think I mentioned it already. I'm starting to go on and on and on and on. That's all I have to say. But the fact that she's on Twitter accusing me of like harassment and she's afraid of me. Oh, you're afraid of me. Tiny amygdala. And this is why I say she's racked by fear because it's so unfounded what she's doing. Uh, and I will never back down. I will never stop talking about her. I will never give it up. Okay. So all the people who are contacting me on social media telling me to stop, I'll stop when she gives me the $5,000 from Mohegan Sun, the $1,100 she stole from the slot stream, and apologizes for being full of shit everywhere, every day, and everything she does. Does anybody really believe she loves the Pepper Club? That she loves that French toast with the pus on it? That was such a blatant bullshit uh, nonsense thing that she did that even Keith Lee stitched it. And, so, and ended up in a whole thing with her about the Pepper Club. And when she had that whole thing with Keith Lee, she says, I have to go block 2,000 people now from my, from my chat page. Because that's what she does. There's a post right now on my page, 500 people, 600 people, 700 people. Tell me how much they hate me. Congratulations, you hate me. I don't give a, I don't give a damn. I'm out here to entertain people. I'm out here to make people laugh. I'm out here to give. I'm out here to do business. Uh, I'm out here to go into business with good people like Jose the taco guy. He's got it. I'm out here to have fun. Uh, our new taco place is opening up on the night of December 29th with Jose the taco guy and El Juero. That's a whole nother story where they're accusing me of being racist because I say, um, what do I say? I don't even remember what I say. Um, El Rey de los Tacos. There's nothing racist about that. It's exactly the same as he's got it. When I did Jose the Taco Guy, he's got it. Was that racist? I mean, I think the world is spinning out of control. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. That's enough BS for today. Thank you all for joining me. I don't know how many people will see this, but it's out there now. Vegas Paulie C.